What is the name even to the layer of the atmosphere that can reflect some radio waves? Well, as I'm sure that you can remember, it's called the ionosphere. This is because it's made out of ions and it's in a sphere around the Earth. What frequencies of wave does this layer reflect? Well, it reflected certain types of radio waves, right? But not all radio waves. It reflects AM radio, which has frequencies of between 500 kilohertz and 2000 kilohertz, if we're including shortwave radio. Shortwave radio is also modulated using AM, that is amplitude modulation most of the time. Question 17. Does the ionosphere behave like convex, concave, or plane mirror when we're sending a radio signal from space? Now the ionosphere is reflective no matter which way the radio waves are coming at it from. So if we're sending a radio signal from space down to the ground, then the ionosphere, which is a layer around the Earth, will look something like this as we send the message. So it looks like a mirror that's bulging outwards. What sort of mirror is that? That's right, it's a convex mirror. All right, how about if we're sending it from the surface? Now in this case, we're on the Earth down here, and the ionosphere is a layer around the Earth like this. So that's how we're sending the wave. Now, it doesn't quite look the same. It is no longer a convex mirror because we're looking at it from a different angle. Instead, that's right, it's a concave mirror. Question 18. Draw a labelled diagram to show how a convex mirror can be used to see around corners. One of the useful applications of convex mirrors, of course, is that they can see a much wider field of view, and so can show you around corners even if you are unable to see them yourself. So our diagram might look something like this. We can see that we have a convex mirror and an incident ray from this part of the corner, the incident ray is being reflected from the mirror down to over here. This means that if we're looking into the mirror, then we can see a wide region of space in this part of the alley, instead of a relatively narrow region if we had a plane mirror or a concave mirror. The other thing, of course, is that from this part of the mirror, we'd be able to see the street that we're currently standing in, if we're over here. That means that by looking into the mirror, we can see both the street we're in and the street we're about to turn into reflected in the mirror. Question 19. Draw a diagram of one radio station sending a signal to the other. So we can see we have the radio station on the left side of this diagram broadcasting a signal, but it doesn't have line of sight to the second radio station. So how is it going to get the signal there? By using the ionosphere. It can bounce a signal off the ionosphere and to the receiving station. So our diagram might look something like this. We can see that the radio signal emits, the radio station emits a radio signal that moves out towards space, bounces off the ionosphere like a concave mirror, and reaches the receiving station. Question 20. Is it possible to send information around the world via radio waves at frequencies that do not bounce off the ionosphere? That is, is it possible to send television or FM radio around the world without having line of sight to your receiver? The answer, of course, is yes, but not purely by sending radio waves. We need to send radio waves to satellites in space that can then retransmit the radio wave down toward a receiving station. This is, of course, how a satellite TV works. So when the signal can only be sent through line of sight, the satellites are able to relay their signal. They might even relay it to another satellite until they're in a location where they can send it down to the receiving station on the ground. So that's the end of the questions, which means we're now at the end of the lesson. So that about does it for reflection. We've learned about plane mirrors, concave mirrors, convex mirrors, and even the ionosphere, which is able to bounce certain types of radio wave. In the next section, instead of looking at how light reflects from mirrors, we'll be looking how light can be transmitted through the boundary between two media.